With the festive season coming, I thought, what would it look like? You know that French 3D design? I love it. But what would it look like if you did it with foil, like gold and silver foil? I found out it's beautiful. I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's get started. So I'm starting with the set of nails that I had on from a previous video. I absolutely love the blue that I made with eyeshadow. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And maybe cameraman, you can show a picture somewhere of what those nails look like. They're beautiful. But I love the blue so much. I left the pinky on there, put the gold on. Then I put the gold on the French here, but then I thought, what would it look for that 3D? So that's what we're going to do with these two. We're going to build the foil like I did here, but 3D. I built the pink already on this one. You can see the extended nail bed out with the French coming out this way. And now I'm gonna do that nail with the foil right away. And then I'll build the other one. So I'm gonna just put a form on. Actually, before I put that form on, just let's, where's my, oh, here's my tube. <laughs> I'm just going to first make sure that it's nice and sharp. Now, if you wanted to know when you're building, I can maybe I can explain it with the next one. When you build your pink, make sure you do it high, especially with this. It needs the depth to show where we're going with this kind of a look. So when you file it, just file it nice and crisp. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let me put that down there somewhere and get rid of the dust. Then I'm going to put my form on. and I'm gonna build the platform. I'm gonna do this in gel. I actually learned, trained on acrylic, used acrylic for years before gel came in. And when it did come in, in the mid eighties for me, it was meh, didn't really like it. But in the nineties it and 2000 starting then, it came back really good. And so now I started playing with it for the past, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> and I really, really like gel. But it's all about finding a gel line that you like too. And I like a gel that's a bit of a thicker viscosity because I'm used to acrylic. So I'm used to a product being a little bit thicker, not so runny. So I have found this one that I like. and I'm going to put the clear base. I'll put the clear base on my naked nail bed, but I don't need to do it when I'm building. So I'm just going to get this thicker builder gel that I really like. Now for this particular design, I'm going to get a little bit of my gel and I'm going to paint a shelf, a layer, very, very thin layer on the form. And this will be the layer that my foil will stick to. Now I'll make sure that I put the layer on the thick edge of my free edge of the French shape. The reason being is I want the foil to stick to that as well. This is super, super thin. It's so clear, it's hard to decide. It is where you're starting hard to, and when you're ending. It's hard to see, isn't it? Mm. Once I get it on, it, it, we'll see it a little bit better. That's one beauty of gel, it is incredibly clear. You can do this design with acrylic. make sure I do it wide enough too. <laughs> Even though this is an almond shape I'm doing, I want to make sure it's wide enough. I'm sure I did that too long. It's going to be a long meal. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure. I'm going to nuke it. Now I do have sensitive nail beds, so I'm going to take advantage of the lower setting on there. So it cures a little bit slower, so it doesn't go so quick. So when I did this one, I noticed that there was a few little holes. I mean, you could load it up with the, with the pieces, but I want that dimension like a nugget, like a gold nugget. So I don't want the hole. So I am going to put a thin layer of a silver gel. So when you look through it, it's a very, very solid. So I can get my foil still has that nugget look. So let's just get a thin layer of this and paint it. 
See, this is pretty and you can do it completely with this, but I want that nugget look. This is very, very smooth. There's no nugget look. But make sure you paint it on that big cliff that you've made, the big wall of free edge there. Paint it on there. And don't nuke this either because we want to stick the foil to that. Now I'm going to get my little bits. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little piece of foil. I could have done this beforehand, but I wasn't thinking. Break it up. It's like, it's finer than tissue paper. It's super, super fine. So let me see if I can pick that up and put that on there. And then press it in and take any little piece that's not, because once it sticks to something, that's it. It's stuck to it. And if you dent it in, it gives it that nugget look, right? Okay, I need some more of it. that side and just squish it in. Don't breathe deeply or sneeze or anything like that around this stuff. And having said that, if you use it in sheets like I am right now, I, the other one I used in pieces, if you use it more of in sheets like this, you won't have to paint anything underneath if you don't want. I was going to put a little gold on this one, but I think I'm going to go all silver just to see what it looks like. Maybe the other one will do all gold. I'm going to turn it sideways to show you how big the cliff is and what I'm referring to as a cliff. <laughs> so when I turn it sideways, see that big jump down, that big wall of product there? That's what I'm talking about. That's going to, it's going to give us the dimension. So we just want to press this down flat. I think I need one more tiny piece. I like using the cuticle stick because it's soft and it doesn't stick as much as like a metal one does, or it's not as pointy so it doesn't break it. Very easy to break this stuff. That looks very cool. So I just had to make sure I've got enough here on the wall. Yep, looks like, oh, oh, looks like maybe there's a spot, tiny little spot there. Right. Here, I might be wrong. Just making sure. Remember, it's soft. It's the soft color gel, right? Oh, so pretty. So when we nuke it, that'll hold it in place. I think we're ready. So I'm just going to maybe press it down with my stick here. I'll show you sideways. Just pressing it down to make sure that nobody's sticking up. And the reason why I'm doing that is because you really want it to lay flat. The further down it is, the more it's going to look like 3D. The more you can look into it. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's nuke that bad boy. I memorized the back of it. <laughs> and I have faced my light away so I don't have to move all my gels every time I do that. Okay, so now I'm going to build and encase that whole thing, giving the 3D dimensional kind of look, in a clear gel. And when you do this, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> that looks great. Make sure you clean your brush because if there's any little remnants of anything in there, it won't make it so clear. So I'm going to make sure that's really, really clean. Some nail technicians that are so organized, they'll have one brush for color and one for clear. I tried that, but I always mix them up. Too impatient to go get it, didn't prepare it, whatever the excuse was. It just, it's all good in theory, but sometimes practicing it just doesn't happen that way. Okay. 
let's get rid of that. Sticking. This is one reason why I don't like gel because it's so sticky, but once you get past the stick part, it is actually pretty fun to work with. Okay, so now I've got my brush nice and clean. And now I'm going to scoop up and I'm going to make it totally encased. Okay, now gel is a funnier thing. It sticks to whatever it touches. So once you lay it down, build it up to where you want it to be and then pull back and you can sort of keep doing this motion until it stays. I didn't really grab very much. I'm just gonna hold my dish a little bit and try to grab a much bigger blob. That's much better. Okay, put that right on there. The less you move gel, the happier it is. So I find to move slower and be concise. Don't do a lot of padding. Don't do a lot of folding, stirring, mixing. Don't do any of that. You know, it's very obedient. It really just kind of goes wherever you tell it to go. And if you don't have too runny of a jelly, it will stay there. That's why I like this fusion line that I'm working with. I'm working with the five. I really like that sculpting gel. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Okay. So what I will do with gel sometimes is turn it upside down before you nuke it. And the reason why I do that is because it flows to give you the natural apex where you want it to be. That's one thing you don't do that with acrylic because if acrylic's running, it's too runny. Your bead's not right. But with gel, it's different because it works with the gravity. And I like that. So let's use it to our advantage. Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to nuke it. I'm going to put another layer on, but I am just want to nuke that in there because I'm happy where, where all that landed. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. So I just have to decide if there's any more I want to add anywhere. And sometimes by taking it off, it can help you decide that because then you can see the dimension a little bit better. It might not help in this case because it's pretty solid, but I'm going to take it off just in case it reveals a few more answers for me. Mm, 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 mm. Very cool. Because it's clear, it's sometimes a little hard to see. I think I might put another blob on it. I might not need it, but I would rather have... I mean, you can go back and add, but I'm not one to want to go back to add. I'd rather have more on there and file it off than to not have enough and have to get everything else out again and put it back. I don't want to do that. So I am going to put a blob here. And I think I'm glad I did that, actually. I actually can't believe I'm saying that because I really thought I was putting too much on. But as I do this, I can see the dimension even more. And that is one problem I, I will admit that I have is when I do my nails, I tend to do them on the thinner side. I don't like thick nails, so I tend to do them on the thinner side. So that for me, this that's why this design has always been harder for me to really get that dimension is because I tend to do them on the thinner side. Like I got the apex where I want it to be, but I tend to go a little bit thinner, as thin as I can get them so they don't break. But with this design, they do look a little better if you get them a little bit thicker. And of course, the longer you go, the thicker you can justify it. <laughs> so that adding that extra blob did show me like, whoa, that does look cool. And I think because of that dimension, will be forgiven the thickness and I don't even think anybody would even say whoa that's too thick just because the dimension's so cool very cool 
And that's why these nails work really, with this design in particular, really well with the apex, like the Europeans do with the apex being in a different spot and they are so much higher. And that's why they can pull it off like that. So cool. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to remove the stick because I'm going to apply the next one. I was going to do it all gold, but you know what? I think we might get a little jiggy and do gold and silver. Oh, I can't wait to file. It looks a little wonky now, but whoa, when I file that. Ooh, can you see that, Karen? Oh, yeah. Can, can you really see the dimension? It's hard to really see the dimension, isn't it? Once I file it up and top coat it, I think we'll be able to see it. Okay, so let's put my cap on there. I'm going to clean me brush. Nice brush. I like that. That's a fusion brush. It's quite lovely. Okay, I'm just going to buff up my index finger. I'm looking at that and I'm like, it makes the gold look so boring. <laughs> but I, I didn't like do it the, the same way. You like the gold? Yeah, I do. I didn't do it the same way. And I don't want to, I don't want to trash the gold yet until we give it a chance. Like I do it the exact same way. And it's a little difference, but it's amazing how one little detail can make a huge difference in the outcome. So I'm just buffing up this, it's got a little bit of a thin layer of acrylic on here. So I'm not gonna bother with Prepper Prime because acrylic will stick to gel, gel will stick to acrylic. They like each other. Okay. And I'm gonna get rid of me dust because gel doesn't like that. So I'm gonna get a form on and, oh well, yeah, we gotta build the pink. That's right, that's what we gotta do. Build the pink. Okay, so you know what? Just give that a second. I'm just mixing two together and you can do what you want and I just thought I'd give it a try. You don't have to do this by any means. It's just something that I did and I thought I would try it. So I'm gonna get a little bit of, this is called blush if you wanna do this specific mix. I don't need much. I'm just making for one finger. I'm gonna put a little bit there. And it was nude, I believe gonna have to use the other end and a little well the equal parts is what I did I believe it was equal maybe a little more pink that is probably too much I could probably get two fingers out of that but okay and then I just mix these two together just try to do it as gently as you can so you don't put a bunch of bubbles in there and upset it instead of pressing into it as I mix Pretty though, isn't it? And you can use either one of them as they came out of the jar. I'm just having a little fun. Okay. So I'll press and release and get right out of there. Better throw that out because it'll be sticking in my hair in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to put this form on. That's where the little skin sticks out. It's super sensitive and it, sometimes it can hurt a little bit. I'm going to put a clear base. When you are doing gel, gel loves to attach itself to a sticky layer of gel. So the easiest way to do it is get yourself a nice clear base. That's what this line has, a gel base. And you wanna paint a thin layer of that on. I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit. I'm gonna paint a thin layer on and I, Paint it on the areas where I want my next layer to go. Now, truth be told, in this case, I am going to build it right onto the form and build it out because we want a layer out there for the next layers to sit on top of. So a nice thin layer on the nail bed and then I'm going to build out a little and I'm gonna work all the way down. Gonna give it a nuke. So I'm going to build a thin layer with the five, just on the free edge, to give it some strength because I want it to be a long nail, so I want it to be strong. So just on the free edge, I'm going to add a 
thin layer of strength with the five because it's the builder gel. Normally I go back and forth like that, but this is gonna be quite thin, so I think I'm just going to paint it on there like that. You can see I'm not grabbing a very big bead or bloop. We call acrylic beads, but I don't think we do that for gel. However, I don't think bloop is the correct technical term either. Now I'm going to make sure that I go right down on the sides too, because that's what really helps this particular design. That's good. Now I'm going to nuke that because I want to build the pink on top of that. Okay, so now we've got a nice strong layer on there. Let's build our pink. And this is our French layer. This is a reverse French. Now we've got that layer stuck on there, the sticky parts. So when we take our French layer, the nail bed color, I'm going to see how I'm sort of puffing it. I'm going to lay it in. See how close I'm getting it to the cuticle? And I'm going to do that all the way around the side. And see how it just adheres to wherever that sticky clear base is. That's what I love about gel, it's pretty cool. And now I'm going to rock it into that point, that French point. So now I'll take a look at it and I'll try to make it look similar to the point of the other finger that I've already done. And that's not very high, but that's okay. We can work with it. Yeah. So I'm just, sorry, I just have to do like this for a second. To make sure that it's even as far as the French goes, right? Okay, I'm just gonna clean my brush and make sure that it is keeping a little gully on the side. Okay, so it looks not too bad. Okay, let's give it a nuke. And then I'm gonna build it a little bit higher. Okay, it is actually in a position that I quite like, but it's not high enough. So I'm going to add right on top and build it up nice and high. I don't have to put it so much near the cuticle, but I noticed that it's kind of blotchy, so I want it to look even for color. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna look sideways. See that? <laughs> Looks horrid. But we do want it high. So I'm gonna bring it up into this center part where it really is high in that peak. Yeah, that's pretty high. Okay, I'm gonna hold it upside down just to give it a bit of evenness. It's not a big deal because it is pretty high. I'm gonna nuke it. So it's a little bit sticky, but because we built that sculpted layer on there, it might be thick enough. It's very, very thin, but let's just release this. Now I take a chance of showing my lack of skills for gel. Although, oh, actually it looks pretty good. Look, mom, no bubbles. Oh, I'm getting better. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove that sticky layer off there. Oh, I hope I don't break this. It's really thin. It's beautiful. So the reason why I took that off is so we can see it. Otherwise, it's hard to really see. Boy, that feels cool. Make sure you do it on that wall. That cliff, I call it. It looks like an icicle. It feels like, oh man, that is some cool stuff. Oh. oh. Oh, that gives me some ideas for Christmas nails. Okay, getting excited. I get so sidetracked so easily. Okay, so what we wanna do is just crisp this up. So when we lay the foil stuff in there, and that doesn't look crisp because we have to file it, but I'm gonna to wanna to just crisp this up and try not to damage that beautiful clear thing that I got under there. Man, that's party. 
So all I'm trying to do is just make this nice and crisp. My brain is going crazy with how many designs I could, I could make with just this clear thing sticking out here. Okay. Well, I could probably fuss about this for a very long time, but sometimes you just have to move on. Okay, let's move on. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to turn sideways. See that deep cliff? That's what I'm looking for. That's nice. That's a drop. And we want to see that drop because we are going to now put in some gold. Let's do gold first and then we'll tip it with the silver. How's that? Oh, that's not gold. <laughs> it's extreme shine. Where did my, here it is. So let's try that. Look at this gold. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Now, so we're going to do half of this gold and the other half silver. What do you think, Karen? Should I do it all gold? Well, you already got a nail that's all gold, don't you? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's, good point. Let's mix it up. Okay. So I'm going to grab some of this gorgeous gold. And don't forget, you got to paint the edge of that cliff. See that? Don't forget to paint the edge of that cliff in there. Right? And then go down onto the nail. So we'll only go halfway because we're going to do the other in silver, right? Now don't worry about it being too solid because we are going to put the foil in here for that nugget dimension. That's about half, right? Okay. Oh, see, there again, I didn't chop up the gold. If you chop up the gold, you can just go right for it. So now I've got to chop it up. Okay. And let's get some gold foil. And undo it. And we're going to get it out and start breaking it up. I'm going to try to get a chunk. Better luck with the cuticle stick. Okay, place that in there and nugget it up. And let's break this one up a little bit. stick to it right okay this piece is a little bit big I don't need that big a piece I don't want to waste it Let me break that up Okay, there's nothing really on the edge here, so I do have to break up into a tiny little piece. And maybe I should get a fresh cuticle stick, because if it gets a little sticky, it won't work for you. So make sure you get that cliff that I was talking about. It's really important to get that guy. Okay, let me just spin it around, see if I can Make sure that that's good. I need half of the piece that's on this little table here. <laughs> Just half of that. Just want to make sure that that is on that side of the cliff too. Because again, that side of the nail is really hard to see. When you're doing your own nails, if I was doing somebody else, this is a lot easier. But when you do yourself, don't forget one side, right?
Okay, so I'm just cleaning my brush and getting all the gold out of it because I want to do that clear layer now. And we're going to build some clear gel on top of there, creating that dimension. But we're going to stop here and then we're going to file it again and do the silver. Build it right out. Wait, did I nuke it? No, I, I don't think so. I can't remember. I don't think so. I don't, <laughs> I seem to don't think I did. Oh, that would have been such a pain because if I just put the blob on there and started shaping it, it might have stayed put, but it might have slid around underneath there as this bloop of gel was moving around. That would have been an annoying little tiny disaster in my nail world. So don't forget to nuke it in between. I think I forgot because I didn't nuke the gold layer before you put the foil on because you don't want to nuke it because you want the foil to stick to that gold. Okay, so there's my big bloop. And I am going to put that bloop right on here. And again, crawl it up the side. Move nice and slow when you're working with gel. You can go over top too. You can go right over there if you want. It's no big deal because we're going to file that anyway. So, and you want to sort of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth as you build it out. So hold it down just a little bit. Work with that gravity. And then once you've got it where you like it, not bad, nuke it. Okay. Now I do want that high because I want to look down through. So I'm going to add another just to make sure I got enough of height. Again, I would rather have more and file it away than be not have enough. I see a bubble in there. I think I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get another bloop. Got to be careful how I'm getting my bloops because some reason I got a bubble in there. And I'm going to add. Now I'm mainly focusing on the top. I think the sides are good. I just want to make sure I've got that dimension down. And going as far as I want that gold to be nice and thick. It's not bad. Okay. I think we'll hold it upside down for a second. Just take a look and see if you like it. Hold it to the to the parallel to the floor table. And then if you want it to be a little bit more that way, you can lean it that way. If you need it a little bit more back that way, you can it'll just flow whichever way you want it to be. And then look at it this way and see if that's the height that you want. Which it is. Okay, and then you get. Okay, I'm just going to clean that up. Now I'm just going to file up the edge and then I'm going to add the silver and then we'll sculpt them. Okay, I filed them all up and now we are going to dust them off and top coat them. And this will tell us if it's any good or not. <laughs> 
I noticed I did them a little longer. Okay, I'm going to use a pot, like um, gel from a pot, rather than brush it on. And anybody wants to know, it's called Extreme Shine by Fusion. I'm just going to use the same brush, just make sure your brush is really nice and clean, because we don't want to get any remnants of the design into the top coat. We want that to be flawless. Let me just make sure it's clean. I'm pretty sure it was. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Okay. This is, oh, I guess I don't need this. This is the reveal. You know, the top coat just reveals the design. So we're just going to scoop it up just like we did all the others, but I'm just going to do a small amount. And I'm going to nestle it nice and close to the cuticle area. And I'm just going to float a nice ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh my. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Spectacular. You can really see the dimensions in this one. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks great. Look at it. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I hate that one now. Looks like it needs to be top coated. Again. Yeah, it is. It's gotten a little dull. That is so boring now in comparison. Okay, let's do the silver. gonna do half of it look at that <laughs> that looks cool actually goodness let's check out the reveal shots i'll top coat that ugly little one <laughs> let's check out the reveal are cool these i thought were cool when i did and they are these are just foil on top of the nail we didn't build them in so naturally when you go do all the much more effort to do that by building them in they're gonna look even that much more cooler and the apex is big but it's not overdone at all completely doable they still look very thin and natural apex is important and if you want to know how important it is check this video out where i talk all about the apex <laughs> 